I'm in Sirencester, which in Roman times was the second most important city after London, the second largest. And the citizens of Sirencester celebrated their status by building this amphitheatre, the largest amphitheatre in Britain. It could seat 8,000 people on these banks that you can see rising up behind me. And like any good amphitheatre, it had two gates the gate of life and the gate of death. So called because through the gate of life came the living gladiators and animals and the living gladiators and animals, if there were any, went out and through the gate of death the dead gladiators were dragged once they'd been made sure that they were really dead. You see, when a gladiator fell, there was always the possibility that he was just shamming and people who placed bets didn't want to have their, their winnings risked by some gladiator supposedly dead suddenly coming back to life once you're safely out the gate of death. So you had here a chappie dressed up as Charon, the ferryman who ferried dead souls across the Styx. And this man would come around with a brazier in which were red hot pokers. And if there was a gladiator lying down apparently dead, he would wheel his trolley up to him, take out one of the red hot pokers and touch the man. If he twitched, <laughs> well, Charon made a quick assessment, and if he looked really seriously ill, seriously wounded, then he would take a hammer and whack the chappy on the side of the head. That really put him to death. Interestingly, just a couple of years ago at Ephesus, we found the bodies, the skeletons, of a number of gladiators. At least we assume they're gladiators because they were very strongly muscled individuals, very well built, the sort of people that you would expect to find as gladiators. And a number of the skulls had square holes in the side, the mark of Charon's hammer. So these were obviously gladiators who had fallen down, who were too badly injured to carry on, but perhaps not quite dead yet, uh, or who twitched when the red hot iron was applied. And so Charon swung his hammer and they were carried out through the gate of death. Well, Sirencester, a lovely place, very interesting, but hopeless as far as signs are concerned. We spent ages trying to find the Corinium Museum. Signs seemed to point in different directions, and when we finally tracked it down, it was shut. So I've no idea what's in it, whether it's worth going to see or not. And as for the amphitheatre, it wasn't signposted at all until we got here, and then there was a sign at the end of the road pointing down here. So if you come to Sirencester, look it up on Google Earth beforehand and don't trust the tourist department.